Okay, are you ready? Wondering if thousands of miles away The sky is just as blue It's as if I'm stuck in yesterday When I'm thinking of you Cause when you have your morning coffee I'm turning out the lights so I could dream And when you smile through the screen I wish you could be with me So I lay my head to rest When the sun it is like a paradise here in Martinique. We are anchored in the beautiful blue water in the Bay of St. Anne, close to the beach of the Club Med Resort. And because the resort was closed at the time, the cruisers and locals were allowed to relax on this beautiful beach. After more than 30 days on the water, we were happy to set foot on land again so we rented a car to go explore the island. One of the highlights in Martinique is the Jardin de Balata. The garden is built around a typical Creole house and is the result of a perfect alchemy between a back-to-childhood experience and a one-of-a-kind artist. The history of this garden is a beautiful story that revolves around its creator and the tree it was named after. We really loved watching the hummingbirds. We had never seen them this close. These tiny acrobats are so hypnotizing to look at. Today the garden contains about 3000 varieties of tropical plants from around the world, including 300 types of palm trees. And the many tropical plants and flowers are truly magnificent. Around every corner, we discovered another, even more colorful and beautiful flower. We had never seen this before. These gardens are a must-see. Part of the visit of the Gardens of Balata can be done by walking above the chai and bamboos among the mahogany trees on bridges and suspended walkways around 15 meter high. Hey, you're high in the treetops! <laughs> Look at the view! Seen from above, the Jardin de Balata is even more beautiful and the panoramas over the Bay of Fort de France and the peaks of Carbet are unforgettable. After our visit to the garden, we drove further up the mountain, deeper into the tropical forest to visit another beautiful spot, Le Cascade du Saut du Gendarme. After a short walk and crossing a small stream, we reached this beautiful waterfall of about 10 meters high alongside a nice picnic spot. Sitting in between of all these tropical plants, we felt like we were in the middle of the jungle.
we are going snorkeling in the reef. It's not far from our boat, but we took the dinghy because it's easier. So we have attached the dinghy to a buoy so we don't use our anchor and we don't uh, destroy the reef and now we're going to snark a little bit. These are our friends arriving in the dinghy with a surprise for Sven's birthday. Wow, an Oma boat! Wow, say! It is It's to catch the sea urchins! Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I like I like I like more the the, the wrap paper. That's because you haven't seen what's inside. Oh, is it really for my dinghy? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, I was thinking about it. Oh, the night I was like. I have to search it on Google, I have to search it on Google. <laughs> First I have to search it if it's working or not. <laughs> Whoa! Very well, don't worry. Welcome Hello. to the dinghy gang. Dingy, yes. dingy gang. Hi there, Paul. Wow, thank you very much. <laughs> it doesn't have to do it. Wow, I'll say. So it fits on my dinghy, yeah? Yes, it yeah. fits on the whole. Uh, Small enemies. Sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sven. Happy birthday to you. For my birthday, uh, fellow sailors, friends of us, give me this beautiful gifts so i got some gloves when i go spear fishing i can take this fish and other things from the sea that i want to eat like urchins and i got this thing that is very exciting this is called hydrofoil and these are two fins that we have to uh, mount on our dinghy motor and they say that it gives a smoother ride a maximum lift it reduces planing time it increases stability and steering and yeah excellent steering at low speed and it's easy to mount oh i cannot wait so let's do it action what's in the box wow two beautiful fins oh they're very hard plastic it's nice we have to put them like that and put them on the dinghy so that we have hydrofoils and i've got some screws in the back so let's do it i think i we clean it a little bit like this. Then we'll take a fin on that side. And one on the other side. Now we have to measure if they're right or wrong installed. So this is on the box. Let me put the engine up. Okay, now let's put the fins on. That's good. The screws. Need some assistance for the screw. Don't drop your screws, friends. The hydrofoil works very good. Thank you for the great gift and the amazing party, guys.
We spent another few days relaxing after our ocean crossing and enjoying the good life in Martinique. Since all it took to behold a beautiful underwater world was to jump off the boat, we went snorkeling every day. One, two, three! We enjoyed a lot of stunning sunsets and the pleasant temperatures here. Thank you for watching and join us again next week for our sailing trip to some of the other bays where we discover more of Martinique's beauty. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so and don't forget to like our video and leave a comment.